Hello and welcome. This is Jason uh, th with Free MMO Club. First of all, uh, we're actually going to look over Terra today, uh, an open world PvP MMO. One of my favorite type of MMOs. I love open world PvP, and I kind of hated the fact that over time, WoW has become well, it's a pay to play, but World of Warcraft had became more of a Care Bear kind of game. Um, if you don't know what a Care Bear is, uh, we got basically back in the day we started calling uh, World of Warcraft Care Bear servers, the uh, the PVE pers uh, player versus environment, which is a Care Bear server. Uh, someone that doesn't want a PVP or is too afraid of blah blah blah. Anyways. I like PvP, I like open world, I like the fact of having to look over my shoulder. To me that feels more realistic. If you're back in the mid ages, do you think you're not going to have to look over your shoulder? Because if you do, you're a moron. Alright, on to the next step, sorry, had to rant about that a little bit. Anyways, um, character creation in uh, Terra Online is actually pretty good, pretty good. Uh, the the ladies they look great in this game um, if you like if you like rolling ladies good game to run with now I, I don't mean if any offense by that I, I just love the art style of the ladies in this game because they're more anime ish I guess you could say um, my favorite kind of class of course is gonna be the high elf I mean the race sorry uh, but yeah they've, they've got quite a few races here you can go through them, look at which one you like, find find out what the what's the most interesting. I'm gonna go with high elf for this this little uh, first impression, which is kind of a look at the game, just kind of getting started and seeing how the game actually runs and if it's worth worth your time, you know. Uh, they have quite a few classes. Berserker, of course, they wield the big axe, you know, and they're just berserking. They're crazy. Anyways, uh, moving on to the Lancer. The Lancer is actually a class that uses a Lancer. Uh, the last time I've seen a Lance in a game was probably Legends of Dragoon. I think. I think that's the last time I've seen one in a game. Which, uh, Dragoons, they use uh, Lancers mo most of the time. If, you're, if you've ever played the old Final Fantasies, there was a famous character that actually used a Lancer in the Final Fantasy games. Uh, Slayer. The Slayer uses big old swords. So if you like getting that old sword out and busting some heads, go ahead, do it. You can do it here. Warrior. They're more of the twin blade kind of character. I would say they're a fast, evasive tank. Here. Sorcerers. Of course, I, I don't need to go into sorcerer. You know what a sorcerer is. Archer. Uh, use a bow and arrow. Okay, yeah, that's about it. Priest, of course, they're the healers. It's just me, or do they look like pimps? I think the mystics do too. Uh, anyways, uh, priests and mystics are kind of the priests, of course, the healing class. Mystics are kind of the support class, kind of a eh, balance, I guess you could say, kind of class. Uh, let's go with warrior. I already have a uh, a slayer right now, so. I'll go with the warrior this time. Uh, we, uh, let's see. Dark hair. Uh, they do have quite a few selections. You can go through and find exactly what you like, the way you like it. You know, just look at it, and you can change the color of your hair and everything. Uh, faces. Uh, if you've ever played any anime MMOs, you do know that a lot of the anime MMOs don't allow you to customize as well. Oh, by the way, you can zoom in, so don't feel af don't feel afraid to zoom in and actually see what your characters haven't happened to him. Now, um, this thing right here, Addo Norman, but I can't talk. I don't know what I can't say that word. Anyways, um, right here, if you switch this up, like um, I have this this preset face I like this if you switch this up it'll actually change that 
so you can set it like this keep it like that if you if that's the kind of face you like and then switch it over so he actually has that too a really extremely cool piercing that looks like it may hurt anyways uh, going on to the next thing you can find detail I'm not gonna really get into this and really customize the character extremely but you can go through eyes, bone structure, nose, mouth, ears. You can get it all right there. And then you can see kind of what your outfits are going to look like later on in the game. What they look like on your character. That's just good. And voice, uh, of course. You go high, well, you get high like a chipmunk. You go low, you get a low voice. I. Uh, I think three is actually a really good setting for kind of a mid-age kind of character and then edit name you create your character name uh, Kalian is what I'm gonna go with try that for now I'm finished and we'll get into the game uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we'll be right back all right we are back and it is in a cinematic now we'll see some action. Patience, recruit. Whatever's on that island wiped out the first expedition. It's a graveyard for the arrogant. Ha! A graveyard for anyone who dares to cross swords with me, maybe. Who's with me? Count me in. On the day I heard about a mysterious island rising out of the sea, I dreamed I'd see it for myself. Then you need more ambitious dreams, my friend. Mysterious Island equals ancient treasures, equals the perfect place for me. By the Titans, that island is huge. Enough chatter, recruits. Get down there and report for duty for the Federation. Sorry guys, I stopped talking there because I, I know a lot of people don't like people to talk over cinematics and I just wanted to see, I wanted y'all to see the cinematic. As Terra is a great MMO that did go to, go to a free to play basis, you will hear cinematics. Meaning this is a great MMO with cinematic qualities and you can actually kind of gather the story as the cinematics play out meaning you don't necessarily have to read the voice stuff to actually figure out what's going on um, as as if, if you actually very new to playing uh, Terra online I do believe there is a tutorial I'm not sure if I turned mine off or what but uh, you do start out in a different area if you're playing the tutorial getting straight through the game and getting the know-how of how to play but the game is a lot of fun a lot of action based kind of combat uh, let's go ahead and just grab our first quest here and I want y'all to see the action greetings no. let's get through this uh, if y'all do have a controller uh, you can play this game on a controller I have a PS3 controller which I use a um, Oh, what you call it? Uh, control system on it. Um, right now, I'm using the keyboard and mouse because I just I like using the keyboard and mouse when I'm playing an MMO. Uh, don't don't quote me on. I mean, don't judge me on that, guys. It's just that's my style. That's the way I like to play when I'm playing an MMO. Give me a sec. Hey, but, yeah, I'm gonna try to get to the quest where I can attack something. Okay, okay. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's this little mini map that you have. You can lock it into place if you want to. Decide exactly how you're going to do that and everything. And, um, now, Terra is really nice because you can really move just about everything around if you want to. Uh, when you hit the escape, just go to it and, like, if you think you can move it, click on it, and then try to drag it somewhere. And um, I think I have my map, mini map locked in. I'm not gonna go through all that, but you can go through your options and like 
get control of everything here. So their their interface is very malleable, controllable, I guess you could say. I, I like using the word malleable, meaning moldable, I guess you could say. Ah. Anyways, let's get down here and see where this question mark dude is. And if you like less junk on your user interface, you can do that. That's up to you. I do like less junk on my interface. Um, I want to see a game like Sword Art Online or Dot Hack. If you are a um, anime fan of like Sword Art Online or Dot Hack, uh, you'd probably feel right at home in this MMO uh, because uh, if you notice in uh, Terra Online, uh, you'll be able to actually PvP to anyone. Uh, I think it's once you get level 10 or higher. Uh, it may be 15. I'm not absolutely sure on that one. But you can actually PvP your own friends. You know, you just got to turn it on. That's that's all you have to do. Uh, the action is very fluent, as you can tell. Moving my cursor around, it's actually following where I'm going to be able to attack at. So, get my first enemy here. Whoa. I dodge him because he probably fixed the attack. Doo -doo -doo. Whoop. He's going to attack again. Whoop. See? And I love that, being able to dodge. Um, the reason I suggested any kind of person that's playing like a... Um, that this wanting to look for a dot hack or a sword art online kind of game the reason I suggest that is because those games use well the simulation of those games use an action based system which is like this so that might be why you'd probably like the game and uh, you know just to mention Ow, I got hit. Why did I get hit? I wasn't dodging. But yeah, um, that's Terra ter Online in a handbasket. It's a lot of fun. Um, the action is quite fun. And the fact that your keys actually respond, like right when you click them. I, I mean, I'm clicking right now automatic meaning that it's it's not a base system like um, WoW or many other MMOs where you have to actually click on your ability and then wait I don't know five seconds for the freaking thing to respond that gets on my nerves I'm sorry I'm just weird like that I like the more action based kind of system and that's probably why I like uh, Tear Online so much And quickly moving along here as you can see the mini map points out exactly where I need to go and if I if I'm like working on quests like this one I'm supposed to be working on uh, killing the trees I can actually click on that and boom it shows it on my mini map where all those those little mobs are gonna be located at so I can make BAM! Um, what y'all just heard is my uh, Star Wars Tales of Republic uh, another free MMO that I play uh, it actually just got done updating but lack of um, being able to comment much more uh, oh, well the map you would be able to see the map maps are really good in Terra Online they actually show everything where it is and how to get to it and everything uh, Terra has actually become an extremely pop popular MMO since uh, it went to free to play and uh, you know that's simply because WoW is dominating the MM MMO market right now uh, well I wouldn't say dominating anymore because they have lost a lot of customers due to the fact the game is just getting dated you know so you know, if you're looking for something a little bit new, Terra is a very fun game to play. Um, you know, you'll find a more action-based system here. 
Oh, uh, what else can I say that is actually good about this game? Well, I mean, it's a lot of fun. You know, it, it, it's just, I don't know why, it just, it feels like a lot of fun. And, like, you'll get started on killing an enemy, and then you'll move on to the next, move on to the next, and be like, wait a minute. I killed ten enemies, and I only had to kill five. That happens in this game. I, I don't know why it really happens. It, it's just the feel of the combat system because it works out so well, I guess you could say. But, um, as for, like, learning skills and stuff in the game, uh, I'll try to show you that real quick. We're all in this together, eh? If I can you get to it. Back and I'll <coughs> we'll do. Let me show you what I've got. For the Federation. But yeah, um, yeah, this is my combat that. trainer. Let's fix that. So, um, if you've ever played World of Warcraft and you remember back in the days, like any science, you actually had to go geniuses. to a trainer to learn your skills. Well, you go to your trainer your and enemy. you Don't learn your skills here. Your uh, nowadays, I think WoW has a uh, thing where you automatically learn your skills, and I kind of like the fact of you know pacing myself deciding when I'm gonna learn my skills and stuff like that because it to me it just makes the game more challenging at times if I don't want to learn a skill right away or something like that yeah I, I'm weird guys I'm sorry but anyways that about does it for uh, Terra Online I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions <coughs> sorry if you have any questions comment below I'm more than happy to hear them um, if you want to look into a new MMO or you want me to look into a new MMO, <coughs> let me know. I'm trying to find all the greatest MMOs out there uh, that are free to play. Now, I do have a list of great new free to play MMOs that are not quite out yet. They are out over in uh, the Asia market, basically, is all I could say. <coughs> <coughs> I do apologize again. I'm biting off this little cough. <coughs> but as you go along, uh, just check out our news on our um, website. You'll also find that in the about section below on the YouTube video. Just go down there and you'll see our website listed, freemmoclub.weebly.com. Right now, uh, later we may change that to freemmoclub.com. But uh, go to our website and go to the um, free MMO news and you'll see some of the MMOs that are coming up. I hope to see you back, <coughs> back on the next video. If you, um, if you have any questions, like I said, throw them in below. Um, I just paused the video. I spent like four or five minutes of coughing. Anyways, um, yeah. What I was saying is, check out our website below. Again, I'm sorry. Uh, having to fight this cold off. It's been a real bothersome to me, so forgive me for that. Um, you'll find out more at our website. We are throwing up new MMOs, trying to do it constantly and getting uh, more information out to you for the newest MMOs that are out. Uh, what I was trying to say before I got interrupted by that cough bit was um, we have a blog which is all the free MMOs which is a uh, it's a free MMO news which is covering like um, news that I've actually kind of sometimes I get on YouTube and what I do is I just start digging through things and seeing what what the new MMOs that are coming out, such as Blade Soul, um, Aurora King, uh, I don't know if I'm saying that Aurora Kingdoms. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but if I'm not, just correct me below. And I'm sorry. Um, Aurora Kingdoms, uh, Echo Souls. And now I won't have a video up yet for Echo Souls, like in the news feed that I found, uh, because. 
I'm not absolutely sure if that's coming anytime soon because it looks like it's still in um, complete Japanese right now or Korean. I, I'm not sure what language it's in right now, but it it looks like a good MMO. But yeah, um, I'm covering a lot of different MMOs that I'm finding out there and I'll post you any kind of news that you're looking for a new free MMO. Uh, in the meantime, go out there and game, have fun, find a free MMO that you like and just have fun with it. And hit me up if you if you think that I need to look at that MMO. Let me know. I, I'm more than happy to look them up. Just let me know. Because that gives me a new game to play. It gives you a new game to play. Peace out. Happy gaming gamers.